when we start our preparation after 10th it's basically in the beginning we are a lot too excited and the major problem with uh, which happens i guess is that uh, in the beginning since we are too much excited we plan a lot of things that uh, teachers tell us this but we try and do a lot more things initially since we are like it's just a beginning and the things are less to do it is easier and we can do like mul follow multiple books but later on when slowly and gradually things get more uh, dense and like we have more lot more chapters to do in the, from the beginning then uh, since our plans don't go well we get depressed and all that but that's the most important thing you have to keep your focus and uh, don't get depressed like it's not actually necessary to do everything what most important is that you follow your notes and listen to your teachers even in allen the teachers just told us to do a particular things uh, if you are just told to like do modules and you finish your allen modules or whatever that that's just enough like you don't have to follow multiple books just like just uh, you know there is a misconception that more you study like uh, the topper has to study like 10 and 15 hours a day that's ridiculous i mean you have to i won't say that don't study it Dep depends on your uh, depends on you actually what you think what you need like uh, it's not actually important that you study a lot it's of course it's important to study but more what is more important that how you replicate that in your like time for your exam like you have 3 hours for to write your, uh, to finish your exam paper how you replicate your study in those 3 hours is more important like you work more on that like 90% of what i feel is that your marks depend 90% on what you what you do on those 3 hours than what you do in 30 in your 30 days or whatever so just work more on that exam the exam mania you know, people some, some some people just get stressed and everything that's why they study a lot but in exams they don't convert this uh, hard work into marks so that's more important right now you have to focus on how you uh, give your papers and uh, studies will go on if you are like you, know, you have your basics right that's the most important thing that's enough you don't have to like follow as too many books and everything making a timetable is of course beneficial but i personally didn't actually make any timetable or something i just studied whenever i wish to like i wanted to study and everything but i always like worked upon my confidence like i should never lose my confidence in something uh, if i'm like uh, even before je if you talk just before je i didn't study too much like je is coming so i should just study and study because that would like de uh, demotivate me or sort of stuff so i just attempted a few last year's papers and if i like satisfied with myself my scores in them so i like just like to i just kept my motivation up and that's why uh, that was a major factor in je there is no like uh, there's no magical way to like you just eliminate your silly mistakes like that's what i said right uh, you have to be worried more about what you do in this 3 hours than what you study in your 30 days i, I just said that in the same beginning you have to work more on how you do your paper so you have to just focus and like Uh, I guess uh, I, you know, whenever I had an exam, I used to eat less because I felt that I, I give better. Like whenever I eat too much, I can't give concentrate more. So like you have to understand it your own way. Like what's good for you. When you give your three hour uh, paper, then you have to be like focusing on a paper. So you should not have any distraction or something. If you feel like uh, this is uh, doing this will be better, then you should just follow that. As well as theory part is concerned. mainly i used to rely on my class notes and whatever is taught in the class very less like i, I used i studied very less books but i uh, focus more on question solving only pa my parents uh, the best thing is that uh, my parents never you know indulged uh, like uh, they tried to too much interfere with my studies uh, like i i did what i they when if you are doing good and you know what you want then parents uh, help you that's true but they should man it should not be like they are controlling everything what you do you 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 have to do something it should be by own will so like uh, your preparation should be more self controlled and parents should just be there to back you up not to plan your things well one most important point is just what i said earlier that work on your phys physical uh, situation at that point like if you are mentally focused at that point so like i told you like whenever i have had an exam i used to eat less i don't eat much i go almost empty stomach that's because i felt that it's better for me so you have to just you you'll come to know in the course of 2 years so you have to work upon these things to don't ignore these things plus 
uh, uh, I just felt like my paper one went bad. Um, there's no such shortcut. You have to analyze this yourself. But what I felt like my paper one bad, bad. So I just started paper two more rigorously and more like I did it more, much faster because I knew it, it was tough. So that's why uh, since the paper one was tough, I started paper two much faster so that I could complete it better. So yeah, it went comparatively better than paper one. I'd not say completely uniform. That definitely test altered a little bit. Like what you study at that point. If that uh, if like inorganic is coming in the test, then you, of course you just an example. Then you uh, little bit study it more. But I don't feel like altering it too much is beneficial because one or two days won't help you. Maybe it will help you improve your that day test, but over a course of time it won't help you too much, right? Plus, what you study in a course of time matters more. Last day study is not that effectiveness.